So I went to the Verizon store because I had to get a new phone because, well, you'll see what my current phone looks like in a moment. And I had asked for a Moto G. He's like, well, the only one we have on display is this Edge thing. I said, how much is it? He was like 69 or 79. And I said, no, like, what's the real price? And he goes, huh, no, that's what you pay a month. And I said, yeah, the real price. He's like, a thousand bucks. They go, no, no, no. I want Moto G. And he says, we don't have it on display. And I said, well, you know, I understand if you don't have it on display, it's not like this. Do you have it in stock? And he shows me the Moto 7G, uh, Moto G7. And then I asked, how much is it? 169. That's more like it. I'm a cheapskate. Not when it comes to batteries, which is kind of the sad part, because I asked for 35V cells from a supposedly reputable vendor. But this is my new battery. I'm back to the GoPro, if anybody wonders why it sounds like shit. My DJI camera met its... It met the ends that any device that requires you to turn on location to use it met. I'll leave it at that. It was mounted on my bike. This is the fun part. Ready for this? Hey, Paul, how's it going? Ah, the walk of shame. Yes. <laughs> so, Paul. What I need you to do is very easy. You see this? I need you to take that and put on it the data from this. Get the wrong person at the next fix over. That'll be 350. 350? No, you're looking more like 425 and two, three months. Oh, you, ooh, what ah. about SD card? Because that's, that's mostly the Spigen case that's actually damaged and looks really bad. Is it possible to pop the SD card out of that? Maybe. That's all. Uh, this isn't an iPhone. Oh, my idea of hey, data recovery is hey, giving my SD hey, card. Screen. Look at that. I think Q-tip could fix that. Q-tip, you think? <laughs> Just a Q-tip. Here, here, wait. Let, let, I got. I got. <laughs> Wait, Paul. All of that black stuff is the Spigen case that I had. Where's the little Dremel for it? Yeah, Dremel, 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 dude. Uh, Dremel will get this, yeah. I got, I he got was it. a nice guy at the Verizon store, but they don't, they don't put this on display. You know why? Because this phone's $169. They put the Moto on display that's uh, $1,000. Wait, where yeah, is no, the SD card? It's on the top. So they see the little button over there? Yeah. So this little button? It doesn't come out you with a press, tray. You press or... that and then it pops out, but it's not going to come out because it's a plastic case melted around it. So see that this black, see this black finish. That Dremel That's a actually, case. Might not actually be the worst idea to Dremel the plastic out. Or you can destroy. It. Well, don't, don't don't break my screen. Uh, uh, don't um, break my screen. <laughs> I think this is the actual oh, LCD you, material right here. You scratched my screen. I sorry. Oh, well, look at the camera lens all melted. That's cool uh, again. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> Okay, I could get your, uh, I get your SIM card out. <laughs> uh, well, the SIM card and the micro SD are in the same tray, so if you can get to oh, one. Oh, well, that's over here. That's not on the top. That's the side. Oh, We're okay. Good. I gave you the wrong place. My bad. I, oh, that, that's a notch on the case that I was thinking of. I don't even know what the SIM card is in my own damn phone. I'm a noob. Oh. Does okay. that come out? Mm, it will. It will destroy your tweezers. I'll tell you that because I use those tweezers to open my phone, and every time I do, I have the actual SIM tool. Oh, uh, let's see. Android phone data recovery, ladies and gentlemen. No. Did it break the plastic? Yeah, it did. Okay. Oh, son of a... I'll get it out. At least I can see it. I'm gonna boot this one up in the meantime. Here's your screen. Keep, keep that, just in case. Here, David, you have a test screen for an LG G8 if they come in for data recovery. It's not lining up with it anymore. That's what it is. Oh. That he should should come off easy because I've already replaced the battery in this phone. Do you and think the this back small case. little lever guy still works, Paul, or no? No, the lever can't work because the the board isn't even in line with the case anymore. Uh. uh your SIM card is melted, but the SD card looks okay. Let's take a look. Do you think the SD card will work in this phone? Chris has done miracles with those. Unboxing, baby. Oh, it's a beautiful sound of taking a phone open. I don't even think this thing is charged. It's been out of the, It's been in the store so long. 
I'm gonna need a vacuum for my desk after this. Oh, you should see my building. I saw your building. Did you see the building door? Yeah, I saw the building yeah. door. It's a nice looking door. It looks like Baghdad now. <laughs> yes, it does. My microphone from, that I used for my recording was in the was in my lunch bag that was on the bicycle. You should see my, my front wheel exists but is messed up. My rear wheel doesn't front exist. Wheel exists. I didn't even see the the axle. Like everything was gone. Yeah, no, the front the back wheel is is literally gone. There's nothing left of it. Like the front wheel is messed up and bends, but the back wheel just vaporized. Like the motor controller is vaporized. It became part of the sidewalk. Part of the steps. Yeah. That piece of shit DJI action cam got vaporized, but that's what you get for asking for my location to turn it on. <laughs> like a piece of shit. I thought you were enjoying that thing. I was. I'm still salty about the location thing. The batteries yeah. protected your location. I don't know what it turned on Android from. Oh, there we go. Yay! You just want to cut the side bezel with, with something? Or? So the company Possibly. told me they have insurance and they're willing to pay for a quote reasonable amount of the costs. I love that word reasonable. This point is $100 reasonable? Yeah, because in right to repair they say that, you know, that, that's the one thing when they say that when selling or making parts available, quote reasonable. But no, making a iPhone 5 screen as expensive as a brand new iPhone 6 is not reasonable. Reasonable is in the eye of the beholder. I'm kind of curious if this SanDisk SD card could survive 600 Celsius. Because this, this was straight in the thick of the fire, as you can tell. And it sat there for a while. I'm also curious if the board is able to power on if I had a good LCD and uh, good Not battery. anymore, I just broke it. Oh. <laughs> so much for that. I think it's the melted SIM card that's keeping it in place. I got a new SIM card on this phone. I'm activating it now. The guy said I needed to turn on my old phone in order to uh, switch over to the new one, so I showed, and I said I can't, Is it? so I showed him it. Like, yeah, here, go ahead, turn it on. Yeah, he said, I, unfortunately, I, I don't know if we'll be able to get the date off of it. And I said, no, I will. So give me a week or two, I will. By I, I mean David. Because... Off I, of what, the internal storage in the motherboard? Absolutely. I have faith in David. David works miracles. Well, not after Paul had his way with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at how water damage that shit is. That is so freaking water damaged in there. I know. I was gonna get it. The firemen were hysterical, Paul. One of them said, uh, you know, one person said, you know, what are you gonna tell your landlord? And one of the firemen said, Ah, oh, tell him you tell him you ordered delivery from Grubhub, one of those <laughs> arrows. And they tried to make your food extra extra toasty. They ain't gonna know. And then one of the guys said, you know, we need to take down your contact info. So I said, do you sure you want my number? Like, I'll give you my email. And I showed him my phone. And then he starts laughing and he says, your number's fine. Can't contact me for a couple days. Is that the same? Is that the same model as this or anything? Oh, this is a Motorola. I bought the cheapest of the cheap shit. The only reason I have an LG G8 is because I got the thing for $300 on eBay because it was all scratched up in a very, very lucky, lucky buy it now auction winner. You can cut the phone open if you want to. I might have to. I just wish I saw how this tray looks. Is this just a cover and then everything slides out or is it no, a every, cover and holder? It, it, that, that is part of the tray. So okay. this thing over here is part of the tray. Then that's why it's not coming out because this is melted into it. So then I just got to pick this free and it should come out.
I made about a 25 mile round trip yesterday and then I stop in front of my building for a minute and then it goes on fire. It couldn't go on fire in the street like a good bicycle. Couldn't wait till you got hit by a taxi and then catch fire on the taxi. Yeah, you know. Did Dan just say he got a no back butt? I just ruined my good tweet. This phone is so light. It's made of nice cheap plastic. I love it. Watch SD. Oh, I can see him. I see you, little one terabyte sand disk. Yeah, it looks like a knockoff. Oh, shit. It looks like a knockoff. Yeah. With the printing on it. Boom. Yeah. SD card? Okay, now let's see if it works. Yeah. Yeah. Android, it ladies and gentlemen, Android phone data recovery. Yeah. All right. Done. Once you sort your phone out. No, it's, it's not going to short my phone out. It's going to short Paul's nook out. And power off. Ooh. SD? Whoa! It sees it. Can't show the screen though because there's a customer phone number on it. Uh, there you go. Uh -huh. it's files! Ladies and gentlemen, if you buy an iPhone and it dies, best of luck getting your data back. On an Android phone, it could be set on fire at 600 Celsius on a bike with batteries burning at 600 Celsius. And it lasts. Look at it, this is pretty. Look at what this came out of. Yeah, look at, what the, look at this. Is this kind of become an ad for Sandisk at this point? I think so. And it, it stands the test of fire. That's Sandisk. it for today. And as always, I hope you learned.